What's going on guys? This is Vince with vshred.com and in today's video, I'm gonna give you a full upper body workout using only dumbbells. All right, like I said, today's video is going to be an upper body workout. So if anybody is heading to the gym today, looking to do a good workout that's going to hit your back, your chest, your shoulders, your arms, um, all in the same workout, and it's not gonna take too long, this is the perfect workout. Also, if you're looking for a workout that maybe doesn't use a bunch of machines or maybe even barbells, or you're on the road at a hotel and all you have are dumbbells, this is perfect for that as well because uh, the exercises are only gonna use dumbbells. And so we're gonna be using a range of different weights, but we are gonna be staying in a lighter rep range. So we're gonna be staying in the 12 to 15 rep range. If you don't have the heaviest dumbbells available, use a 15 rep range, like if you're at a hotel or something. But if you're at a gym and you have all the different dumbbells available, we're gonna go for a 12 rep range. So you're gonna be going for 12 reps every single work, for every single exercise. And we're gonna be going for, for the four, full workout, we're going four sets of 12 with a 60 second rest in between. So there's not gonna be much rest in between, so it's gonna keep that heart rate up, it's gonna keep that sweat going, and it's gonna get you a good workout in a short amount of time. And then one other thing that we're doing is supersetting all of the exercises. Well, actually, I think it's four out of the five exercises we're supersetting, which means that we're doing two exercises back to back and then resting after that. That way we're killing two birds with one stone and we're just basically getting twice as much done in the short amount of time. So uh, before I get into that, I will say if you are looking to um, cut body fat or you're looking to build lean muscle, I do have a free quiz that tells you exactly what type of diet, how many carbs, fats, and protein you need, and the exact type of workouts that are best for your body type for you to get in shape as fast as possible. I've had over 1.2 million men and women in 150 different countries try out my body type quiz, which is right below this video, and get amazing results from it. And if you are trying to get in shape, hit the link right below this video, take the free quiz, and watch the video at the end. It's that simple. So without further ado, let's get into this workout. All right, so starting off, we're gonna be going with two different compound movements here, two big lifts. And compound movement just means that we're mul working multiple different muscle groups with the exercise. Starting off, we're going with a flat dumbbell press. So a great exercise for the chest, for the triceps, and also for the shoulders. With the form here, you wanna make sure that you are rolling your shoulders back, you're sticking that chest out, you have your elbows down at a 45 degree angle. They're not all the way flared out, they're not all the way squeezed into the side. That's gonna help you work your chest. And then you're going for, fit for 12 reps or 15 reps if you don't have heavier uh, dumbbells available. After that, you're gonna get right into bent over dumbbell row, and this is gonna be with both arms. And so basically, you're just sitting up on that bench, you're leaning forward, you're gonna have your chest into your knees, and you're gonna take your elbows, and you are going to drive them backwards. And so by driving them backwards, you're really helping to work that lat. You're also gonna work a bit of your, uh, of your uh, bicep, and you're gonna work a bit of your rear delt, the rear part of your shoulder. And so two great compound lifts. You're going for 12 reps again. After you do 12 of each, you're going to do 60 seconds. You're gonna go basically rest for 60 seconds, rest for a minute. And so after you rest for a minute, you're gonna go three more sets of that exact superset. So four sets of this, it's gonna move super quick. Make sure you got a timer out, that way you're not resting more than 60 seconds because that's a very easy way to make your workout a lot longer than it needs to be. So the second exercise that we're doing is actually not a superset. So I mentioned earlier how uh, four out of five of the exercises are supersets. I got that wrong. It was actually three out of the four exercises are supersets, and this is the one that's not. So here, we're gonna be working our chest and our back again, and we're gonna be doing some overhead extensions. Now, people think that this only works your back. Some people think this only works your chest. It all depends on how you do it, so we're gonna make sure that we're doing it so that we hit both here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab one dumbbell and you're gonna get on a flat bench, you're gonna put your upper back on that bench and you're gonna have it resting just below that, the, the bottom portion of your skull here. And then you're going to rest, you're gonna bring, you're gonna grab the dumbbell from beside you. And then what you wanna do first off to work your back is you're going to lower this dumbbell as far back as you can. You want your elbows to come basically just past your ear, feel a nice stretch in your lat, and then you're going to drive your elbows forward 
and then down. And so you're gonna be basically bringing them elbows down and then how you're gonna work your chest next is you're going to bring this weight all the way down towards uh, basically right in the middle of your chest, the lower portion of your chest. You wanna bring it all the way down your body and then at the bottom, you really wanna focus on squeezing your chest together. So as you bring this, you're squeezing your chest, squeezing your chest, squeezing your chest, squeezing your chest, and then you're gonna bring it back down. You're gonna get the stretch on your back. You're gonna focus on driving your elbows forward. Then as you get to the top, squeezing your chest, squeezing your chest, squeezing your chest. That's how you're going to work your back and your chest in this, which is really what's going to make this exercise as effective as possible for a total upper body workout. So you're gonna go for 12 reps. You're gonna rest for 60 seconds. You're gonna do that three more times, so four sets total, and we'll move into the third exercise, which is another superset which is gonna be a great superset for our shoulders. So here, we're gonna get a light set of dumbbells because we're gonna be doing a standing shoulder press. So normally you probably do a seated shoulder press. Well, with standing shoulder press, you're gonna be working a lot more of your core, which this is an upper body workout. We wanna make sure we hit that core as much as possible. So we're gonna be doing a standing shoulder press. So you're gonna go probably about 10, 15 pounds lighter than you do with a seated shoulder press. And then from there, you're going to really focus on doing this right first off. So when you go down, you wanna make sure that your elbows are slightly in front of your body. I see a lot of guys and girls that have their elbows way back, they're flaring their elbows, and that's just putting your shoulder into a weakened position. You do not wanna do that. You're gonna end up hurting yourself. So slightly forward. Also, you're gonna have your, your head back almost as if you have a bar. So you're gonna act like there's a barbell here. And then as you press, you're going to bring your head forward. That way you can really focus on squeezing that delt. So you're gonna have it back. And then as you bring it forward, your head's gonna come slightly forward and then back down as your elbows stay in front of your body, making sure you got that mind muscle connection in your delts. So you're gonna go for 12 of those. Then you're gonna jump straight into some lateral raises, but we're actually gonna be doing triple delt raises. So what this means is you're gonna go a lot lighter than you normally do with just say lateral raises because we're gonna be going for 10 reps of front raise. And with front raise, you really wanna focus on pushing your elbows forward. That way you can really focus on hitting that anterior delt, bring it back down. Then we're gonna be going with a lateral raise, really focus on bringing that elbow out to the side to hit that medial delt. Then we're gonna bend over and we're gonna be doing a rear delt fly and really focus on bringing your elbows outward. That way you can hit that posterior deltoid head. So that's going to be one. You're gonna do 10 of those. So one, two. So you're gonna go all the way up to 10 doing those triple delt raises and that's going to complete that superset. So that's gonna be one. Now we're doing four of these. So you're gonna rest for 60 seconds. You're gonna go into 12 shoulder standing shoulder press then you're going to go into 10 of those then you're going to rest for another 60 seconds so four sets of that and that's going to just completely obliterate your shoulders it's going to feel good or it's, it's probably not going to feel too great but it's going to be amazing for your shoulders you're going to push them till fatigue you're going to be hitting all the different areas of your shoulder which is what a lot of upper body workouts miss out on because you have to make sure that you're hitting your delts from the front the side and the rear and also make sure you're hitting your traps and everything and make sure you're getting some kind of pushing movement in there. So it's a great superset for your shoulders. And then we'll move into the fourth and final superset, which is going to be a great superset for your arms. So starting off, we're going to be getting on an incline bench here and we're going to have some dumbbells and we're going to be going with skull crushers. So I've made tons of videos about skull crushers and the proper form on how to do them. We want to make sure that you are never allowing your elbows your upper arms to go straight perpendicular to the ground because when you press straight up, you're gonna be cheating this shortened rest. So you wanna drive your elbows back. You wanna get that stretch, so about 90, de 90 degrees with your elbow, and then you're going to press that up, keeping your elbows back, squeezing out at the top, squeezing your tricep, going back down to a 90 degree angle. You're gonna go 12 reps there, keeping your elbow in the same spot the whole time. Then you're gonna bring this weight down. You're gonna bring it down to your side. And then here, we're gonna be doing some supinated curls. And with supinated curls on an incline bench, we're really gonna be focusing on the long head of our bicep. And because how you're gonna do this is by having your elbow back behind your body. That's how you put it into the most advantageous state of contracting it. So by having it back behind your body, you're really focusing on keeping your elbow back there. So as you curl up, you're not bringing your elbow forward. 
as you curl up, you're keeping your elbow back there, really focusing on squeezing, keeping that palm facing up, so supinating your wrists, and doing 12 full curls, squeezing at the top, getting the stretch at the bottom, squeeze into the top, 12 of those, then we're gonna rest for a minute, and then we're gonna repeat that three more times, so four sets total. After that, your arms should be completely fatigued, should feel great, and that's going to be the entire workout. So we hit our chest, we hit our back, we crushed our shoulders, we crushed our arms, and that's going to be the entire upper body workout. All right, so now that we hit our upper body, if you're looking for a good lower body workout to try out tomorrow, I'm gonna to put a card right here to one of my best leg workouts for you to try out tomorrow. That way you got a good upper body, lower body split, then you can rest the day after that, or maybe hit abs the day after that. I got a whole ab playlist as well. Um, but other than that, guys, that's the whole workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you're sharing this with anybody who you think you would like this as well. And I'll see you in the next one.